Some of the most recognisable symbols of Ireland can be found on a number of objects in the collections of the National Museum of Ireland. A symbol is a representation of something else. For example, oftentimes when we see the image of a shamrock, it is automatically associated with Ireland. Such symbols help people to feel that they belong to a group or to a country. Symbols can motivate people to act, encourage their loyalty and still in them a sense of pride. The harp is one of the most enduring symbols of Ireland, found on coins, tokens and medals since the 16th century. The harp's distinctive shape evokes the important role of the bards and musicians in ancient Ireland. The harp collection at the museum is especially significant and includes a small number of early wire-strung harps. Today, the symbol of the harp can be found on a number of objects and locations around the country, from the Samuel Beckett Bridge in Dublin, the front of an Irish passport, to one of the most famous representations, a pint of Guinness. Keep a close eye around your home or even your local area and I bet you will find a number of symbols containing a harp. Originating from the village of Clada in Galway and known for its unique appearance, the Clada ring is an Irish example of a friendship ring. Here you will see two hands, which signifies friendship, holding a heart that represents love. In the centre, just above the heart, you will see a small crown which represents loyalty. Their traditional purpose is to show marital status. A single person wears the clattering on the right hand with the heart facing outwards. An engaged person wears the clattering turns to the heart faced inwards. When married, the clattering would be worn on the left hand with the heart turned inwards and would serve as a wedding ring. The clatter ring continues to be a very popular gift and holds a high sentimental meaning for each individual person. Do you own a clatter ring? Can you recall the moment you received it? Design and craft played a huge role in shaping the national and collective Irish cultural identity. The museum's collection consists of ceramics originally collected from local ceramic industries as a means of illustrating the evolution of fine ceramics. The collection includes Irish delftware, Bilique and Carrigaline and a modest collection of high quality contemporary Irish and Irish related works. An example of this can be found in this Celtic hand painted vase from Dublin circa 1885. Made of glazed white clay, the vase has a bulbous body, long neck expanding outwards but now broken. It is painted all over with green except for areas of design. Painted on the shoulder are interlaced animals which are painted alternatively yellow, red and purple. Irish coins, notes and medals use Irish symbols to proclaim their identity. The harp, St. Patrick and Hibernia appear repeatedly on Irish coins, distinguishing them from their European counterparts. Irish banknotes use strong symbolic images drawn from many sources, including history, mythology, architecture, landscape and literature. In 1926 the Coinage Act was passed and as a result a series of silver, nickel and bronze coins were issued. In order to choose specific designs for the new Irish coins, a committee was established. Headed by W.B. Yeats, the committee recommended that the coins feature a series of native animals. Native animals were chosen because agriculture played a leading role in the economy of Ireland. Percy Metcalfe won the design competition for the pre-decimal coins. The first Irish coin series consisted of eight coins in total and were first issued on the 12th of December 1928. As time passed, it was necessary to introduce new designs for three decimal coins, the half pence, one pence and two pence. The artist Gabriel Hayes was commissioned to design these coins. The designs were based on ornate Irish illustrations found in old manuscripts.
Many people keep these coins as tokens or mementos. Some, if not many, may be scattered around the house. So remember to keep an eye out during your next spring clean. Do you have a favourite design or perhaps a fond memory associated with the coinage? We would love to know. Please share your story with us in the comments. Symbols are not just about the past. Today we use symbols all the time. They appeal to our emotions and stand for ideas, whether they are used in popular culture or in an official context.